Hello, this is Gio, and today we're going to be talking about engineer scales or engineer rulers. And basically, these are designed to measure ratios. So, if you have a, let's say, a plan set or a map that's in a scale of one inch equals 10 feet or 10 miles, this is a way you can measure it and convert it from from inches to miles on a map. Unlike conventional rulers which here, here's, one, here's an old one, which are divided, here's an inch, uh, these are divided into like fourths of an inch, eighths, sixteenths, etc., 32. An engineer scale is divided in more into tenth increments. So I don't know if you could see this, but here it, uh, here's the tenth scale, and this is one inch right here, and each, it's basically divided into ten uh, segments. So if you have, let's say, one inch equals ten feet, you could just measure the feet based on the inches. Uh, typically, engineer scales come in uh, on one inch equals twenty or uh, one to twenty ratio. So this would, where it has a two here, that would be one inch. Uh, also, one to thirty ratio. So uh, here, at the thirty mark, would be one inch. Um, well this says 2, but um, it represents 20 increments, 40 increments, so 30 would be right here. And then you flip it around, and you could also have uh, one, 1 to 40 scale, which at the 4, that would be 1 inch, so uh, tw uh, 20 increments would be here. Here's 1 to 50, so which would be, that would be 1 inch. And then 1 to 60. So you go all the way to the 6, and that would be 1 to 60 scale. So let's give this a shot. I've just drawn a random line on a piece of paper, and I want to know what its ratio or distance is. Let's say that this is just a simple map, and it is meant to be 1 inch equals 10 miles, for instance. So I know the ratio is 1 to 10, and so I'd use my 1 to 10 side on the engineer scale. I would put it down. I would put one end of the line at zero, and then I would come down and realize that it's past the three mark, and then one, two, three, four little uh, segments past the three. Since the three equals, let's say, 30 uh, miles in this case, it'd be 34 miles. So that would be one inch equals um, 10 miles, so it, the length of this line would be 34 miles, or represent 34 miles. If, uh, if, this, if the map was 1 inch equals 20 miles, then I'd use the 1 to 20 scale. I would put it down, starting at 0, and then measure, and then of course, since the first one was 34 miles, this one would actually be um, 68 miles since it's basically twice as much. So, and you could see on the scale that it goes past the six and eight little units past the six. So that's how you use a engineer's scale and I, uh, good luck on your projects to come.